In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a church flyer for program sponsorship or program loading in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using. So you might want to download that and you can practice. And in case you do and you want to show it up to me, you can hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, or IG. Now, let's get into Photoshop and let's see how we can do this. I'll be using Photoshop 2021, but you can use any other version. First off, you are doing this for social media. So we are going to set a very simple preset. You press Ctrl N and then you can set the measuring scale to inches. And then we are going to go for, let's say, 8 by 8. You can as well use 4 by 4 or 16 by 16 any other okay so the resolution is also going to be 300 and you go ahead and you click on create all right so you're going to have something like this the first thing that we're going to add to this will be a background so you're going to start off the background with a gradient overlay so we go to the new layer fill adjustment over here and then we are going to choose our gradient once you're here you click on the gradient and then you can scroll down because I've already set my gradients, I can easily go and choose any one of them. But if you are starting out afresh, you just need to pick any of the gradients that you like. So we are going to use this particular gradient and these are the hex codes in case you want to use the same thing. So this is the first one and this is the second one. Afterwards, you click on OK, OK. And then over here, we are going to set the style to radial. And then we are going to reverse it for the scale we are going to set this to 155 but this is going to depend on how you want your background or your scale to be like so you realize that the more you open up the scale the more the middle color kind of take off okay so i'm going to keep mine at 155 and then i'll click ok the next thing we want to do is we want to add a couple of other backgrounds to this so we'll go to file place embedded and then we'll go into our resources to bring in this background so the first background is going to be this abstract pink background that i got from google and then i'm going to open it up you can place it somewhere around here you try to open it up so that it fills the entire background and then you can double click on it now we're going to right click click on rasterize layer you're going to press ctrl plus shift plus u to turn this to black and white or desaturate it and then we are going to change the blend mode to soft light so soft light will be here you can add a layer mask to it choose our brush tool and then you make sure that you increase your brush tool the hardness is going to be zero and then you increase your brush tool with the curly bracket so you can brush off the parts that you don't want and then we are going to reduce the opacity to somewhere around 67 or even 69 anyhow you want it depends again this depends on the background or the colors that you choose to go for next up we'll go back to our resource and then we have another background to bring in so this is going to be this worship background that i also got as well so you can bring that one slightly beneath over here you can open it up like that you double click on it go to the blend mode and then you are going to set this to color dodge you right click rasterize and then you can press ctrl plus shift plus u to desaturate that add your layer max to it and then you choose your brush tool and you can brush it off so the reason why we do most of these things is because you want to make it blend together we are creating a background okay so you can't leave it slightly like this you see that there are some line or the line that is showing up from this background so when you add your layer mask and then you brush the lines of you realize that it blends with the background and looking at it from this point you might even think that it is just one background okay now we can decrease this opacity to about somewhere around 55 56 and that is going to look fine so if you turn this one off you can see that it added a bit of light to the very bottom left part of this the next one we go into the resource again we are still creating the background and then we are going to bring in this particular worship background so we put it over here it goes on top like that we want this part to be here and then we are going to double click on that we right click and rasterize the layer saturate this and then we are going to turn this one to overlay okay let's go for soft light now we are going to decrease the opacity slightly like that as well add a layer mask to it and then you can choose the brush tool 
and we can brush this part off as well we can further go to the feather over here blur and then gaussian blur and then we can blur this a little bit further so that it blends with the background okay so we can do this and click ok now there are two more backgrounds to be added so we go back to the resource and we are going to this is going to be a praise program a music program so we bring this musical sign also here in the middle and then we can leave it somewhere around here we change the blend mode to soft light over here and then we will add a layer mask as well finally we are going to bring this last background to spice the, the bottom right part of it so we are going to bring this cross background that i got from online as well you place it over here we are going to right click and rasterize Control plus shift plus u to desaturate it and then we are going to set this to color dodge so you open it up you're going to add your layer masks to it and you know what to do right now after you're done with all of this we are going to add a bit of depth to it and you can do that using the curves so we go to the create new fill adjustment select curves and then we can drop our curve down a little bit so that we have a bit of darkness in there so this is going to be our background the rest is pretty much going to be our test our logos and then any other touch-ups that is going to make this look nice so first off let's go for the test tool and with this test we're going for the montserrat bowl so you left click and then i've already selected my test tool. i'm going to just copy it right over here let me zoom in so you choose the z or the zoom tool and then you can zoom in out here and you can open it up like that okay and then i can position it somewhere around here now i want to select the present only here and i'll go to my toggle character and then i'm going to open the tracking something like that so the method is church ghana present okay once we're done with this we can easily bring in the logo so let's go to file place embedded and i've already saved the logo so we double click on this one so we are going to open it up to fill or to be in the same size with the test and then we can position it over here afterwards we can select the two press ctrl g to group it press ctrl a and then we can center it i think this is a little bit bigger so let's close it up slightly like that so the next thing is going to be the main program which is termed as messiah's Pro and this is an actual program that is coming on in my church if you want to sponsor this program you can hit me up and then we will talk about it as well all right so for that particular test we are going to use a font called gilliams I'll leave links to download all the fonts as well as the resources in the description so you can check it out so the first thing is going to be messiahs or messiahs so you open it up up this is right that's how we spell messiah right so you center this press ctrl a and then you center it and it can be here you can press ctrl t and transform it slightly and then we're going to make a duplicate bring it slightly beneath it and then we are going to edit that to praise so messiah's praise or messiah's praise depends on where you went to school though all right so the praise is going to be slightly bigger than the messiah so we open it up over here like that press ctrl a and then you can center it now we want to add a bit of style to this so we are going to get rid of the eye in here so we delete that and using the tab key you can press tab key to create a space over it or if it feels too big for you you can use a space bar we want to create a bit of space so that we can add instead of the eye we can add something else to this we can push it up slightly now we're going to add a style to this so for that we're going to press ctrl o to open our resources and then we can bring in this particular thing i don't know how this is called actually so this is from dreams time i'm going to crop this out i only need a portion of one of these just one of these okay so i'm going to select my magic one tool and left click over here to remove the background i'll press ctrl d to deselect and then i'll go for my polygonal lasso tool and create a selection around any one of these don't worry about the color we are going to change it when you send it into our document so you make a selection from here press ctrl j to duplicate that and then we can send it into our work and you may decide to keep it facing this side 
or you can just right click and flip it horizontal so i want it horizontal like this so praise and you realize that the space is too much so we'll go back to the test place our cursor over here and hit the backspace so that it closes up a little like that i think this is fine so i want my eye or in this case this particular thing that we are using to be on the other side remember when you brought it in it was like this and we right clicked on it and then flipped it to this side okay so after we're done with this we need to make this white as well so that it's the same color so we will right click on this go to the blending options and then we can add color overlay so we select color overlay over here and if it is not already white you can just click on this color and choose your color in the same way if you are using any other color you can go for the color from here you can change it to any color at all but in this case we are using white i think if we had used even yellow too it would but let's go for white click ok and then ok from here you can press ctrl t transform it slightly let's make it a bit bigger than the other ones and we've created our prints very neat and nice now we can select these two since it's going to be the same you can either merge it if you are sure you're not going to make any other adjustment to it or to be on the safer side just group it so that in case you want to make any adjustment you can easily do that we need to add some more flair to this to do that we're going to create an ellipse like that make sure the color is white oh so this is black so we double click on the layer terminal over here and then we are going to change this to white and from there we can go for a elliptical marquee tool so we hold shift and then we create an elliptical like this and then we can drag it to somewhere around here now we go to the ellipse right click on it and rasterize the layer and from there we can hit on delete so that it creates something like this something like an eclipse for us okay we press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly choose your move tool and then you can bring it right over here now i think this is like too kept so you press ctrl t and then you can open it up and then transform it slightly like this i think it's also looking small so we can bring it over here make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j bring it on top of the e press ctrl t right click and then you can flip it vertical and now you can transform it slightly and put it right on top of the e and you create your nice emphasis on the praise so this is going to be messiah's praise now we can select from the ellipse to messiah's and we can group that also and we can name this one say main title okay and you can bring it slightly down press ctrl t to transform all of it at the same time the reason why you need to group your works and then you can press ctrl a and center it now the next test is going to be the anticipate and then the telephone this is going to be just a flyer to seek for sponsorship so there's no need to communicate the date or any other thing you are just using this to create an impression that the program is coming on so for the next test we are going to go for my favorite poppings so let's go for poppings over here let's use the bold and then we are going to write anticipate after us you press ctrl t and then you can transform it to make it a little bit bigger you space it out slightly like that let's go for say 100 and that means that we can transform it slightly down press ctrl t and then you center it as well and then we are going to create a rounded rectangle so you choose a rounded rectangle create a nice simple rounded rectangle like press ctrl a and then you can center that as well you right click on the rounded rectangle go to the blending options and then you can add a gradient to it so we choose the gradient overlay and then we are going to choose this particular gradient so this one right over here this is the first color and this is the second color you click ok and ok from here and then we are going to add the test or the phone numbers to to this so like i said earlier if you want to sponsor this program you can reach out to the numbers on this or you reach out to me personally as well so on top of that we pick the test tool we hold shift and then create a test and then you can paste the test or our phone numbers over here we are going to press ctrl t transform it and we don't want this to be like that spaced out so we'll select all of that go to the toggle character and change the tracking back to minus 50 and then we can press ctrl t and transform it some more press ctrl a to center it we don't want to use the color white so you select all of it and we are going to give it a dark color pretty much a dark color like this one so that 
it's more visible okay and then we can click ok and then ok now we can group this from the sponsorship to the anticipate group it and then we can drag it slightly down like that now let's go back to our main title bring it down slightly and then we can bring in something to complement this so at the bottom of this we we'll go to our resource and then we are going to have this circled shape type of thing that i got from png ring so you double click on that and then you, you bring it in transform it to make it slightly bigger so we need the messiah sprays to be in it it doesn't have to be that big though so let's take our time to transform it so now we can adjust the main title so let's bring it slightly down like that okay right over here and let's make the messiahs a bit smaller it has to be in the circle okay so press ctrl a and centerize it and then you can push it down and i think this is fine and for that we can go for the anticipate and the sponsorship and bring it down slightly like that now for the final touches you realize that the background looks way very very hard okay it has to be smooth you know soft light so let's go for this background the priest worship background 23 we go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then we are going to blur it up a little so let's blur it up let's go slightly like that it has to be smooth you know so let's bring it down a little bit let's say 10 let's settle for 10 okay 10 is fine and then we click ok now we're going to do the same thing for the rest of these ones so we choose this one we go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then we can set it to 10 and the same thing for this one as well and then we click ok so you realize that now it is looking a bit more smooth as compared to the first one that looked very hard and we need to change this color to complement the colors that we are using the blue white and then the yellows okay so you right click on this one rasterize it and then press ctrl u and you are going to change the hue of this so we can so you play around with the hue until you get exactly what you want okay so i will decide to go somewhere around this area i think this looks fine and then i'll click ok from here and we can make the entire background pop a little bit as well so on top of the curves let's choose our hue over here so hue and saturation and let's change our hue to about 17. And this looks too much so let's bring it down slightly and increase the saturation slightly as well so what do you think between this and this I think this looks good i like the popping in this one but this one also looks good but i'll settle for this one what do you think and this looks way too bright so let's go to the curves one more time and try to bring it down slightly like that so that we have that depth you know that darkness so that it pops out or it brings out this one right over here so we can have something like this so this is without the curves and this is with the caves what do you think so basically that's how you create a very simple flyer for church programs or anticipation programs sponsorship programs don't forget that links to download all the resources will be in the description i'll be getting value out of this video if you did subscribe to the channel so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye